Ooh, that's a good one. So uh, you hear a lot about the lack of customer service these days, a lot. Um, I personally experienced the feeling of the lack of customer service um, in all industries, whether you're, you know, picking up the phone to call your, you know, your your phone provider or your utility or whether you're looking for a package or, or what have you. Listen, when I am not happy at work, that is going to spill over in a multitude of ways, in a multitude of ways, and certainly is going to spill over to the people that I'm here to serve, the customers, whether you call it a patient, if you're working inside of a medical industry, a patient, a customer, a guest in hospitality industry, a prospect, it's going to spill over. And the person on the the other end of the Zoom call, the phone call, the email, they're going to feel it. So they're going to feel if somebody likes what they're doing, they believe in what they're doing, they're aligned with the, the company and it's not just a job, that comes out in how we communicate. And so if that comes out in how we communicate, that can either make me want to come back to that company to do more business with them or make me run away and I never want to come back again. And I'm going to tell everybody and my brother to not, you know, do business with what whatever that that trade perspective is. So it works on both sides of the fence. And then when you have a lot of those things happen, well, there goes your brand. And I feel like on the daily as well, especially since 2020, and maybe it's just because of, of social media, um, and that everything is kind of on camera these days, the quick uh, reputation damage that happens when those poor customer service interactions are caught on tape or happened in writing on social media. Everybody knows about it and there goes your brand. And it is so hard to come back when you've had news media coverage of something going wrong inside of your organization. 